We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to day 26 of the Phantom Manus. We're looking inside the world of Star Wars Episode 1. The complete guide to the lo the incredible locations from the Phantom Menace. This one was written by Kristen Lund. Um, or Lund. I don't know how to pronounce it. Illustrated by Hans Jensen and Richard Chasemore. So here on the front we have a nice look at the main tower of the Jedi Temple. Yeah, this is a cool book. Um, there have some, since been, you know, some... Some re-releases with, you know, complete locations um, all through, all the way through the saga. So I thought we'd just have a little quick flick through, you know. This is obviously very, very different now, um, given the galaxy sort of changed. This is still containing some little bits of, you know, old, old lore, old expanded universe. So yeah, there's a bit of a, you know, the inner rim, the expansion region, the mid rim territories, of course, the outer rim. And yeah, there's quite a lot more nowadays than there is here. So we go to Naboo. A little bit of a a look at some of the bits and pieces, some of the areas. There's some nice. In Naboo, such a beautiful, beautiful planet. I would love to, would love to live there. And this sort of goes through, you know, it's, you know, there might be some volcanic activity deep below, but for the most part, it's rich with deep oceans. You know, you can get to the, and you say the planet core, you know, is is water. So as he says, you know, the only way to, to the Naboo is through the planet core. So I love that sort of that little cutaway, cutaway drawing. And this is something else I've, I've loved. You know, the, the old statues with the hidden sanctuary there. I'd lo I love that there is some, there is history on Naboo. That's something I love about Star Wars is when they provide history like this. You know, these old ancient statues, you know, maybe old temples from tens of thousands of years past. I'd love to see more of that. And we have Oto Gunga. I love seeing this sort of stuff. No points to all the generators. All their technology, you know, the Gungans had incredible technology. It was sort of written off as being, you know, very nomadic and you know, the natives you know, they obviously weren't aware, the Naboo weren't aware of their sort of hidden underwater cities. The droid control ship. And so we get a, look, get a really good look at the uh, the feed hangar there. Really nice. I love the way the fighters are all sort of just docked in there like that. It's such a... Um, you know, it looks like a really, really sort of old, rich building that's been sort of modified to fit these, you know, fighter craft and such. I love that. So we get to Tatooine. A little bit of look on Moss Espa, given the Moss Espa was a very new location, very much similar to Moss Eisley, probably a bit bigger. Obviously, it's the capital city of Tatooine, Moss Espa. Moss Eisley was like a, a truck stop in comparison. Watto's junk shop, you get a bit of a look inside there, which is cool. I definitely recommend checking out some of these books. Anakin's hovel. You can sort of get a bit of a layout idea of the layout of his home. And there you get the big fold out for the pod race for the Moss Esper Arena. It's a bit too hard to get on camera, so. You just have to trust me on that one, folks. I'm getting these pages together to the Moss Esper circuit. I love that. We get the Dune Sea, the Canyon Dune Turn. I 
Love that. Love looking at that. Coruscant. We got the Galactic Senate. Yeah, really cool. Really nice stuff. The Jedi Temple. It's a galaxy hollow map in the middle. You can go down into a chamber and look at the whole map of the galaxy. It's the Jedi Council there in session with the little Annie. Little Annie! In the middle there. The invasion of Naboo. Then we get the Grass Plains battle. Sort of as it progresses. Shield generator image. There's the generator battle here. You sort of get the feed, feed hanger. The doorway, all the multiple levels through, through the, the generator. And there you can just see Obi Wan Kenobi's just skidded to a halt at that last door. It's Qui Gon and Maul. And all the all the technology underneath it. That's which is. Absolutely fantastic. I love seeing that stuff. The City of Thede. There's a definitely, definitely old European vibe. Yeah, which is cool. And that's that book. So yeah, that's one I wanted to share with you guys. I know there are different versions of this. Like I said at the start, there are, you know, expanded versions containing all the sagas, you know. You can get, get some different versions, which is cool. Go check them out. They're worth a look. See you tomorrow for another video. May the Force be with you. Always. Mm -hmm.